So what are you going to demo here? What's happening? Well, I had a landscaper friend and he said that he needed a jackhammer to plant trees because the soil is so hard. I say, come on, Gary. I said, remember I told you about the soil penetrant, this groundbreaker, and I said, all you need to do is just spray this down in five days, all you need is a shovel. And so he called me up and he, he was so excited. He says, Dane, I put this stuff down and in three days, all I needed was a <laughs> shovel. Uh, uh, it, and that's when I knew. Gary was not listening to my recommendations. I said five days, not three. <laughs> I'll show you how this works. Okay. Now this is an example of a, a waterproof barrier. And I'm going to be filling this up with water. Can you hold this for a sec? Usually I have volunteers for this. Okay. Can you see the barrier from there? Yeah, I can okay. see. I got it right in here. Okay. So I put in some of the soil penetrant. That's just a couple drops. And you could see that it goes right through the barrier. Now, obviously, this is not soil, but this is made for soil. It's guaranteed, or else you get your money back. What's that barrier? This is a waterproof barrier. Ah. And then that uh, just breaks the tension. Uh, that's just a demo so you could see it visually. Wow. So that was just a couple drops of that stuff too. Interesting. And that's called? Uh, that's how it's called uh, ground breaker. Ground breaker. Now can you order that online or where yes, did you get you can, that? You can get this online. Perfect. This is made for soil. It's not made for rock. But it's made for soil. If you've got hard clay soil, if you've got any type of soil that's very, very hard, it, it will penetrate right through it. We use it on our projects when we have pretty hard adobe-like soils here in Southern California. So uh, I can attest to it. It's a fantastic product. Now, it's not sustainable. You've got to put it on two to three times a year. It's not like garden mats. There's no microbes in here. Okay. So anything that's liquid is not sustainable. Ah. Okay. So got what, it. What does microbes need to eat? Uh, food. Uh, yes. Organics. Organic material. Exactly. That's what you have in nature is organic mat matter. Right. And when the leaves fall down, that's what the, the microbes eat. So it's not really a great idea for the gardeners to blow away every leaf that they can see to have it being extremely clean then, huh? Well, it actually helps my business. I get more calls <laughs> that way. <laughs> Garden Max, green as it gets, groundbreaker. So look for it, look for it. If you got hard soils, pan, hard pan soils, you wanna get some penetration, you wanna get some infiltration of your water into your soil, check it out.